today. Coming in with an average of 128, his high single, 193, high triple, 470, bowls out of Academy Lanes in Bradford, as well as Metro Bowl in Peabody. It's round two of the Tournament of Champions. Craig Holbrook and Dave Hodge when we come back to Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, for Candlepin Stars and Strikes right after this. There you see the six bowlers that started the Tournament of Champions last week. We saw Craig Holbrook defeat her, Hugh Ferguson, setting up this afternoon's match with Dave Hodge. Jeff Surrett, Mark Gregory, and Chris Sargent waiting in the wings. And Craig Holbrook will be first to bowl here this afternoon at Lita Lanes in Nashua. 337 last week, not one of the highest triples that Craig's ever rolled, but he'll take it <laughs> because he was on the W side. We're underway. Craig, the lefty from East Bridgewater. He'd like that pin to sweep right off the lane, and it does. He's got a lot of wood to play out there. Yeah. A lot of spray and prey potential. And there's the spray, and nothing happens. Craig's 43. Ian Rose has been married for 17 years. Their children, Mara, 14, Victoria, 10. He's been on TV a few times over the years on the old Channel 5 show, about 16 times. Been on our Candlepin Stars and Strike shows seven-ish times. Works as fountain setup for Coca-Cola Company. There's a great shot. Just doesn't get any nicer than that when you slide the two pin over to take out the six, as he did there. Dave Hodge, first ball on lane 34. Dave the youngster from Methuen, he's 24 years old. A recent graduate of Suffolk University with a degree in business. Made a great shot. He recently divested his interest in the Melrose Bowl and the Gloucester Bowl, and he works the front desk at the Marriott Long Wharf in Boston. And in a supervisory position now. I didn't add that to your script, but he has now moved up just a bit. I'll bet he's seen a few celebs check into the Marriott Long Wharf in Boston. It's a pretty nice place. Turn sideways. Look at this. Oh, he almost made two great spares. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. He'll be open through the first two, but not for the lack of trying to make a couple of great shots. A pair of tens for Dave Hodge, who has a lot of family and friends here today rooting him on. Craig Holbrook working on a spare. Great first ball. Oh, that nine, uh, eight pin almost went. A pin went flying by it. So he puts nine in the spare. Piece of wood rolling in front of that eight pin. He will take it straight on. Two marks in a row. This is the Craig Holbrook we're used to seeing. He isn't going to wait around like he did last week until the last two boxes in game number three. He started last week with the 115. He'll probably exceed that if he continues along this route. Tough shot here. The two and the four on the left, the six on the right. We'll try to cut the two over to the six. Not going to make it, so he'll be open in the fourth frame. We'll get to some more of your cards and letters. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to mail us through the U.S. mail, our mailing address is Candlepin Stars and Strikes 50, Television Place, Derry, New Hampshire, 03038. If you'd like to email us, there's our email address right on the screen for you to see. Dave Hodge will have a tough shot here. Talking last wood. week about the uh, 
man in the uh, tournament of not the tournament of champions, the WCBC. I don't want to feel like we neglected the women by not reading their uh, final uh, positions in the WCBC tour this year for women. Uh, Ricky Justice is the bowler of the year for the ladies, followed by Lynn Thompson, Judy Bowden, Joanne Rosano is four, and number five, Cindy Beatrice. WCBC tournament final scores for the year all added up. Three tens sent in by Dave Hodge thus far. Another ball right in the pocket, a little thin on the one two side on the left hand side, Brooklyn. Spare opportunity here. Three five nine with a piece of wood between the three and the five. Dave Hodge, the number three WCBC Bowler of the Year this past season for the 04-05 season behind Craig Holbrook, his opponent today, and Sean Baker, who surprisingly did not make it into the Tournament of Champions this year. That's the first time he leaves a pin standing. Got an interesting note sent in here by Stanley Sanborn from, R from Alton, New Hampshire. And there's a great first ball by Craig Holbrook. Will it be a double? Crowd rooting him on. I'm sorry, Mike, were you done with what you were reading? I, I'm all set, yeah, Dick. Yeah. But Stanley Sanborn sent in a note from a senior state tournament in Concord. There's a spare. Had it all the way. You could hear the crowd ooing as he just did nick that 10 pin. Two marks in a row for Craig Holbrook. In 1990 at the senior state tournament in Concord, a five-man team from Rochester, Bowlaway Lanes won by 37 pins. There were 37 teams, and we won both scratch and handicap with a score of 15.65 total for the three strings. And he's got the names of the uh, participants. Patricia Simpson at a 324, Stanley Sanborn at 289, Helen Jones at 276, and there's Dave Hodge responding. The back row, Dick, you don't see that very often. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Come on, right here. Picked it up. Helen Janessa is at a 276. Roland Dorr of Alton, a 342. And Victor Gannon of Summersworth, a 334. And he and his wife watched the bowling at Lita Lanes. Stanley Sanborn from Alton, thank you for sending in that note. Dave with just a four in his spare. And he'll have to settle for an eight box. Craig Holbrook now working on a double mark, looking for some bonus money. He put two marks together in the second and third frames, but was not able to string three in a row. That's off the head pin. He will put five, six in the mark. He has an early 29 pin lead in the match. Looking for bonus money, not going to get it there. But a 29 pin lead in completed boxes so far. And a 10 box. Big crowd on hand at Lita Lanes. As you see, they're standing several rows deep for this, the second match of the five-match Tournament of Champions. Greg Holbrook right in the pocket. There they go. The five pin was a little bit reluctant, but it finally was coaxed over. As Craig Holbrook topples the timber for another strike, his second strike of the match, of the, and he has six, five marks in the string already. Here's Dave Hodge trying to respond now, trying to keep his head above water. Nine pin drop. Here you get a good look at Dave. And the mark. Good clutch spare for Dave as Craig Holbrook was applying the pressure. 
Congratulations, Dick, to uh, the young bowlers from Pilgrim Lanes who went to Canada over the St. Patrick's Day weekend, or at least that's, that was part of their trip. We were there, of course, for the fundraiser the month before, but just want to mention a couple of the names, how some of the bowlers did, in case you're wondering, if you are a supporter of uh, that tournament. In uh, singles, Division Three boys, third place went to David Godwin. Doubles, Division Three boys, first place to Michael Carrington. Two marks in a row for Dave Hodge. Teams did pretty well as well. Division One boys, first place. Division Two boys, first place. Division Three boys, first place. All events, Division Two, first place for the boys. And the Sportsmanship Award went to Alyssa Sopel. Division one and two, division three and four to Melissa Mahoney. Those are also very important awards besides just pure pinfall. We didn't get all the scores and all the names, but the kids represented Pilgrim Lanes and American Bowlers very well in Canada last uh, Oh, March. another great shot by Craig Holbrook. With the spare inside the strike. Still looking for bonus money. He's got six marks in the string, but not three in a row. He's got a tough shot here. He'll have no wood to work with strictly the four and the ten. Most importantly about those kids going to Canada, Michael, is I'll bet they had a good time. I bet they did. A lot of moms and dads went along. It was 88 kids, a total of 184 people. I did make the trip one time, so I can... I can confirm that a good time is had by all. A 147 first string for Craig Holbrook. Six marks in the string, but not able to put three together. And much better than his highest 125 of last week. Now Dave Hodge, who's working on a double mark. He could use some bonus money and some marks to get back in it. Good first ball, but not much to show for it. Put six in the mark. Got the five, seven, eight, nine. Tough shot. Oh, he almost made it. He threw a great ball. Body English did not help. <laughs> Gave it a shot, though. That'll be a 10 box. He did 106. Could use a mark here. Candleton Stars and Strikes, presented by McMulkin Chevrolet, Nashua, Hyundai, Nashua, Mitsubishi, and McMulkin Cadillac, all part of the Thompson family of dealerships in Nashua, and by Tri-State Megabucks and the games of the New Hampshire Sweepstakes Commission. Yeah. Oh, he almost made the spare. That'll be a 10 box and a 116 first string for Dave Hodge. A 31 pin lead for Craig Holbrook over Dave Hodge after one. String number two coming right up from Lita Lanes in Nashua. You're watching the Tournament of Champions, Candlepin Stars and Strikes. After two pins of our annual grudge match last week, Michael had a one pin lead, but I was not about to go quietly. This was boxes three and four over the uh, next couple weeks. We'll give you two boxes at a time till we come to the exciting conclusion. Over five years, Dick leads the series three games to two, and we're very close in this match as well, as you'll see the score sheet in just a moment. I might add that exciting is in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we could just get to the last of the game. Oh, look at that. Michael almost made a great shot. There was actually wagering on us, but of course all the money went to uh, help to pay the cost of the kids' trip to Canada that I just told you about. So Michael's still looking for a mark, as am I. Will I ever find one? Those were, were those your 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 balls from uh, fast lane? Yes, those are the ones that uh, Ross Wheeler contributed. Oh, we even get the slow mo. Oh, <laughs> Mike, that was Mike stealing my one of my. Oh, okay. My there you go. There. Yeah, almost made the shot there. So there you go. One more box. There it There's is. Michael still with a one-pin right. lead after two weeks, and we're ready to go back at the Tournament of Champions here at Lita Lanes okay, in Nashua. Dave Hodge trailing Craig Holbrook by 31 pins. Yeah, the uh, the wagering windows are still open, by the way, with six boxes to go, and I can't tell you how many people give me grief all year long on those years that you beat me, which has been three out of five. 
All year long. You're practicing? You're going to be Dick this year? I'm tired of it. <laughs> Dave Hodge has a bit of a hole to climb out of. He's down by 31 pins, and this isn't going to help. He has come so close on so many shots. And that'll be a nine box to start out. Told me that he's been recruited by uh, some of the best bowlers to switch teams in the next year uh, international event, the World Tournament, as it's called. He'll be bowling with the likes of Gary Carrington, Mike Morgan and other greats and he's 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 honored above, above everything else and flattered to have been asked because that's the creme de la creme some of today's bowlers. Well the piece of wood just didn't do him a favor. It's resting against a piece of wood in the gutter. It's at a very bad angle. He's got no choice but to play it. Hope it goes right in it. There it is and that's what happens. He had no other choice, no other way to go. He would rather have had this to shoot. And even, even that. that didn't help. A pair of nines for Dave Hodge to start out. Craig Holbrook with a big 147 first string. $400 to our runner up today, and the winner will then advance to play third seed Jeff Surratt, who won his tournament uh, series earlier this year with a 400 triple. Craig with a split to start out. We have a terrific crew working here at Lita Lanes, making it possible for you to watch the Tournament of Champions. Kevin LaFon's our director. Keith Webb is our engineer. Our camera crew of Stephanie Harder, Larry Haber, and Tanya Parry. Chuck Lothrop's on replay. Rich Bork on audio. Kristen Doobie's the timer. And Steve Kenny handling graphics. And they all make it possible for you to watch the finest bowlers in the world. And Kate Nichols keeps score in-house for the bowlers in the gallery that you can't see on TV because we have the electronic scoring, but everybody can read her very legible and well done scorekeeping here at the lanes. Greg almost pulled one out of the hat. That one almost got away from him. But he'll take the mark and add to his lead. I don't mind it. I move way right today. That's a good first ball by Dave Hodge in the strike. Got to make him feel a little bit better. Nice mixing action on that third box strike for Mr. Hodge from Methuen, Mass. Two in a row. We have $650 in the triple strike jackpot. Dave Hodge will have a little bit of time to think about it as we go to the break after Craig Holbrook shoots his two boxes. Come on, let's go. But he'll be looking at $650. You heard him kind of root himself on just then. A little pep talk to himself. And Craig Holbrook puts two in the spare. A half Worcester on the left side. Good second ball, but no mark, so Dave Hodge will be the center of attention. Looking for three strikes in a row. That will be a 10 box. What a 10 box for Craig Holbrook. Wow. The five, the four, five, seven with no wood to help him. Good first ball there and another split. With some wood to help him, we'll just have to spray that wood and see what happens. He's going to play the wood heavy. And there it goes. Great spare for Craig Holbrook. Both bowlers working on marks. When we come back, Dave Hodge will be shooting for the triple strike jackpot from Lita Lanes in Nashua. It's Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Dave Hodge shooting for the triple strike jackpot. $650 in the till for three strikes in a row. Watch it. $650 and a standing ovation for Dave Hodge. And just as importantly, he climbs right back into the match. 
Now another $500 on the table there for Dave. He wasn't able to convert that, but still, that's a big payoff. Missed the spare opportunity there. As a 92 half. And just like that, things have turned around in this match. And an eight box. We reset now the triple strike jackpot to $500 for the rest of today's match. Goes up to five and a quarter next week. Unless it's hit again, of course, today. There's the four horsemen for Craig Holbrook on the uh, right side, but he goes from left to right, so this is this conducive to his uh, angle. Although he did kind of shoot it from right to left. Uh, a lot of his way. ball go right, so yep. goes right to left. A lot of his angles. So he puts uh, six in the spare. He'll be open in the frame with a 10 box. I got a lot of time match, Dick. Yeah, I've got uh, Dave Hodge in the lead by a couple, by a handful right now. It will be another open frame unless he can make a split here for Craig Holbrook. He gave it a great run, but he'll be open. It's going to be virtually tied. That will be a 10 box. That's a good 10. And it's a one pin lead for Dave Hodge over Craig Holbrook. Wow. <laughs> Midway through, we've got a, a brand new match going. Yep. He came back from 31 and made himself another $650 regardless of how he finishes today. Trying to start another run of marks. He missed the head pin there. Got to kind of calm yourself down after all that excitement. He didn't do real well on his first box after those three strikes on lane 33, and he missed the head pin again this time. That's on the head pin. Missed the spare. So he'll be open two boxes in a row after the triple strike. And that will be a nine. 109 through seven. Got a great note here, Michael, from Bernadette Menard from Newport, New Hampshire. This is when you're going to get a kick out. Had some terrible flooding uh, last week up in Newport, up in the Connecticut River Valley yeah. area. A good first ball by Dave Hodge. Dick and Mike, I watch your show every week. You asked if anyone went bowling on their first date. Huh? My husband and I went bowling on our first date back then in 1947. Mes men dressed in a suit. I remember he had on a black pencil striped suit and he went down the lane on his butt. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Yours truly, Bernadette Menard. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we'd love to hear any of your first date bowling stories. Although you won't get to hear them read back till next season because we're on our last taping session of the year. So during the summer, put together a little story and share it with us if you have one. Holbrook tries to break up the split. Surveying the situation is Craig Holbrook. Plays the wood and gets nothing. Who would, it, would you have guessed that he'd get nothing out nope. of that? Unbelievable. Probably make it now with uh, no wood. Take an eight box. Give up another pin. Needs a mark to take the lead. They'll be down by two with just a 10 box through eight. Half Worcester right side. So Craig, who rolled a 147 in the first string, is struggling here in the second string. It's a good second shot, and there they go. Big spare off the half Worcester. These guys are good, I'll tell you. You just have a great respect for their abilities. We watch week in and week out. Dave Hodge. On lane 34, the one and the seven with a piece of wood 
off to the left. I don't think it's a factor. Missed the head pin. That was the factor. And that'll be a nine box. Well, he's gone eight. Sorry, Dick. He's gone markless since his burst of three strikes. Nothing before and nothing since. And Craig Holbrook now is marking again, so he could fall behind. That's a good first ball. And a makeable spare here with a 5-8-9. No wood to help out. Missed the spare. He had a shot at the high string in the match. If he made that spare, we get $50 for the high string in the match. The 147 by Craig Holbrook in the first string will withstand the challenge thus far. A nine box there and a 137. Second string for Dave Hodge. Nice comeback for Dave after a 116. And now let's see what Craig does to finish the second string. Past the head pin and just put six in the mark. Look at that six pin. It's leaning over like the leaning tower of Pisa. You see, they're building another uh, office complex in uh, in that in city in Italy to, to resemble it. I didn't see that. Oh, will it go? No, it won't come back. It'll be it's matching gonna, leaning matching towers. Leaning towers? Of, yes. They won't be right next to each other. But one, are they going to lean into each other? Look like candle pins. Huh? Ten box. So Craig will take the lead into the third string. How much of a lead will depend on whether or not he marks here. Craig was the runner-up in this year's WCBC Bowler of the Year. Ouch. And he is just ahead of the number three bowler, Dave Hodge. The one and the eight, the only two pins to go down. That one got away from him. That's a three box. Look Maybe he won't take the lead. <laughs> he needed a four to tie. What a bizarre match. That's a good out with an eight and a 110 second string for Craig Holbrook. <laughs> and a four pin lead in the match over Dave Hodge headed to string number three. When we return to Lita Lanes in Nashua, it's the Tournament of Champions on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. We have ourselves a Donnybrook here going to the third string of the second round match in the Tournament of Champions. Craig Holbrook leads Dave Hodge by four pins. After two strings, a 147 first string for Holbrook, a 137 second string for Dave Hodge, and a strike to start out the third string by Craig Holbrook. There was not a question in the world that that wouldn't be a strike. He just hammered that. Dave Hodge hit pocket. the triple strike jackpot earlier for $650. There's 500 bucks in it right now. Oh, Craig Holbrook would have liked a shot at that, wouldn't he? Opens with two marks in a row. Dave Hodge on lane 34. Well, we had a very close match last week, Dick. It looks as though that'll be the case again this time. Two, four, five for Hodge. Not going to make it. He nudged it, but not enough to knock it over. He got to the Tournament of Champions by being the number one seed in his ladder and defeating Dan Allard in the championship match, 371 to 324, back in November. Right on the head pin, a little pull and a split, the result. 3-6 on the right, 7 on the left. Piece of wood there. I wonder if he goes after the wood there, Michael, where it's, if it's out far enough and angled far enough to take the two. That's what he's going to do. Here it is. Good call, coach. Thing of beauty. Well done by Dave Hodge for the spare. And he needs that because Craig Holbrook has thrown up two spares. Actually, a strike and a spare to start his second string. Third string. Looking for some bonus money is Craig. That's a pretty good ball right there. And there's the five pin staring right back at him.
The five pin didn't move. It does now. That's fifty dollars. Looking for four marks in a row. We'll add twenty-five dollars for each consecutive spare or strike. Breaks up the split. Put pressure on Dave Hodge with each successive mark. The wood comes way out. That's a toughie. Especially coming from his angle, sweeping from left to right. And he played it. The ball took the pin after hitting the piece of wood. You're Four not always that in a row. not always that lucky, Dick, with that kind of a shot. $75 in bonus money now for Craig Holbrook starting out the third string with four marks in a row, really putting the pressure on young Dave Hodge. He really must respond. He threw a good first ball, but couldn't break up the split. But he's got some pretty good wood out there right now with the 4 6 10. Play the wood on the right. There he goes. Oh, I thought he had it. Oh, look at that. Even Craig Holbrook was was wondering what happened. His arms went in the air. Couldn't hit it any better. Played it perfectly and didn't make the shot. Down a couple of marks now to Craig Holbrook. Missed the head pin. Has the four horsemen left side. No wood to help out. The one, two, four, seven. Got a shot at it. Oh, look at that. The seven still stands. Boy, that's where you want to hit it, too. Perfect. It looked to me as though it was placed perfectly. And that is a 10 box. We go to the break. And a 25 pin lead for Craig Holbrook over Dave Hodge. Six boxes remain. Round two of the Tournament of Champions. You're watching Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. Craig Holbrook has a 25 pin lead over Dave Hodge with six boxes remaining. Dick Lutz with Mike Morin from Lita Lanes in Nashua. The Tournament of Champions. Oh, he's tough. He is tough. That's five marks in a row. Funny thing is, Dick, his high single is 196. If he pops a double in here, it just stays real clean. He could come very close to that. He's found the range. That's a pretty good ball, but he still has a tough shot here. Two, four, five, eight. Right through. It's a 96 half. And an eight box. Nice run, though. Five marks in a row, ending in an eight, an eight pin sixth frame. Gives him $100 in bonus money for the five marks in a row. He'll have the high string in the match for another $50 in bonus money. The only bonus money Dave Hodge has earned thus far, a mere $650 for three strikes in a row. Dave just not getting lucky right now. Looked like he threw that ball perfectly again and did not convert the spare. So a 10 box for Dave Hodge. As far as the money goes today, our runner-up will take home a check for $400. And the winner will go on to advance with Jeff Surrett next week. Good first ball. The six pin still stands. He's right on it. Good mark for Dave Hodge. So the lead for Craig Holbrook is 41 minus what Dave Hodge puts in his spare. So around a 35 pin lead with four boxes remaining. Craig Holbrook won his 11th title back in September at the Beverly Bowler Mat. He was the high bowler at 1432. Christy Moore was the women, the women's winner. And as far as the uh, the bowlers for the Lucky Strike Lanes tournament that happened back in March, we can give you some information on that as well. 
as we mark up a spare for Craig Holbrook. It was John Zappi, Sean Baker, Joe Tavernis, Chris Sargent, and Steve Bandy in the top five for the men. Women, Joanne Rosano was the winner, Ricky Justice, followed by Lynn Thompson, Judy Bowden, and Sue Holleran. Congratulations to all those bowlers in the Lucky Strike lanes. That's in Boston, March 12th and 13th. Interesting wood here for Craig Holbrook to try to convert this spare. Going to give it a shot. Nope. Capped he gets it nothing. instead of he uh, raising it. it. Yeah. Open frame for Craig. And that will be a nine box. He's at 130 through eight. A mountain to climb for Dave Hodge. He needs to string some marks back to back to back. Craig Holbrook is just 13 pins shy of 400 with two frames to go. It's a good ball right on the head pin. He busts up the split, but tough shot here with the 3, 6, 9, 10, the nine pin being the sleeper behind the three. Not going to make it. It's been that kind of an afternoon for Dave Hodge. He's placed the ball well many times, but hasn't had bowler's luck. That's going to be an eight box. Time is running out on Dave Hodge. Good first ball. Spare opportunity. The 247, no wood. Well, if he does not win today, it doesn't look like he will. He still walks out of here with over $1,000. Thanks. In fact, he'll make more money in bonus money than position play today. That's a nice spare for Dave Hodge in the eighth frame. So it will be a 43 pin lead for Craig Holbrook minus what Dave Hodge puts in his spare with two boxes remaining and a mark here would just about end it. The three five remain. Craig coming in with a 130 average missed the spare. His high single 196. Dave Hodges high single 193. That'll be a nine box. He's at 139. And just four pin shy of 400. That's after what a 337 last week. Yes. Almost converted the spare. And a 10 box and a 149. Third string for Craig Holbrook, a three string total of. So he's working his way up from the number six seed, plowing through Hugh Ferguson and now Dave Hodge. Next up, Jeff Surrett, number three seed, followed by Mark Gregory. And Chris Sargent. $100 in bonus money, $50 for having the high string in the match. So another $150 for Craig Holbrook. As Dave Hodge looks for some more bonus money to add to his $1,000 payday. Will it go? It will not. First ball, and here they go. Well, there is room, you know, Dick, yep, for another $500. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't that be something? Best he can do, though, is 391, and that's still 15 pins shy of beating Craig Holbrook. But what a way to go out, huh? Right on the nose. Not today. No bonus money. The triple strike jackpot will grow to $525 for next week's match. Oh, great spare to finish the match. 128 for, Craig, for Dave Hodge to Craig Holbrook's 149. 
406 to 381. The final tally. We'll come back to talk to our bowlers when we continue from Lita Lanes as you watch the Tournament of Champions on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Craig Holbrook defeats Dave Hodge. The final score of 406 to 381. Dave Hodge joins us. We have uh, $400 for being runner-up, $650 for the triple strike jackpot, a total payday of $1,050. That's not too shabby. Uh, not shabby at all. It's just it's tough. It's tough leaving, uh, losing. You know, I mean, I feel like that's the best match I've ever bowled, and you know, to come up short and after that triple strike, I said, well, you know, get something going now. You know, I mean, I had the opportunity to do it, and missed a lot of marks. And you know, Craig's a tough bowler, and. I got to take advantage of everything I could, and I, you know, I just didn't get it done today. But, you know, I mean, it, it was a great match, and hopefully I'll be back next year. You know, I see... You came seem, back from a big deficit when you, with the, the triple strike jackpot, put you right back into the match. You had to be feeling pretty good at that time. I was. I told myself, I said, I got to put a couple together. I mean, I got to get something going and put a little bit of pressure on them. I mean, when you're down 30, 30, 40 pins, I mean, same situation happened to me last year. John Winchell threw 170 last year against me. I'm sitting there just, oh, just you know, have some fun. That's all you can do. But, I mean, bowling good and losing is always tough to leave. And, now, let me ask you one question. You had the, the triple strike jackpot. You had two strikes, yeah. and we had to go to a commercial break <laughs> and make you wait through it. What's going through your mind? I just want to get up there. I just want to get up there. I don't even want to think about it because the bowling's on a thinking game. You know, you don't want to get up there and think. You just want to go up there and throw. Just throw the ball, and that's it. And that's exactly what I did. I said, just, just, just fire it as hard as you can in that park and throw a sergeant ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> throw yeah. a sergeant ball. Well, look, you know, it's disappointing to lose today. But you had a really good year on the Pro Tour. You came in number three, yeah. which I think caught the attention of some bowlers who have asked you to join them this year uh, on a brand-new world team. Yeah, I'm born this year. I, I'm very, very fortunate to be asked. I'm born with... Uh, Chris ba uh, Sean Baker, um, Trefall, the All Saints, and the team's unbelievable every year, so I'm honored to bowl with them, and it's, it's, it's a big accomplishment for me, you know what I mean? Being this young, getting to bowl with those guys, it's like, you know, they want to bowl with me. Turning 25 bowl. next week. Yeah, yeah, a couple weeks, turning 25, and it's a good birthday, $1,000, it's four, <laughs> four times what I made last year, so I can't <laughs> complain about the it. The future of Candlepin Bowling, Dave Hodge, congratulations. We always enjoy nice your company. Bye-bye. Nice to seeing you back. Dave Hodge, our runner-up, and now let's do the bonus ball contest. We'll have... Craig Holbrook, get up to lane 33, and we'll see if we can give away some money. We gave away $80 last week, so there's $10 in the bonus yep. ball jackpot. Missing information on you that one. Sorry about that. information on the card, yep. the Didn't name, address, number phone number, number of pins, etc. There you go. Here we go. This is uh, Mrs. Norma Taft from North Grafton, Massachusetts, and she wants Craig Holbrook to knock down eight pins. Craig, you did it last week. Can you do it again? Eight. Yeah. He did it again. Another winner. Ten dollars in the bonus ball jackpot. This time for Mrs. Norma Taft of North Grafton, Ten Massachusetts. Bucks. Ten bucks. When's the last time we've had somebody do it? Two back weeks ago. You have the same person. Yep. Uh, uh, he, you're on fire. I found something I'm really good at. <laughs> oh no, you're too modest. <laughs> well, you really uh, you found the range there. What took you so long? I, d I have no idea. I made a couple adjustments with my grip, maybe, and uh, I kind of settled in. And then, of course, I knew I had to really bring it this time. I mean, Dave and some of the bowlers coming up are just some of the best in the world right now. So if I don't have it, I'll be driving home early. It's a long climb up, starting from number six seed in the it Tournament is. of Champions. And you've got, you've got to win uh, uh, the five matches to get there. But you, you did start slowly with a 337 last week, a 406 this week. What's the difference from one week to the next? I don't know. I think I was a little more comfortable, maybe. That's all. I mean, I started out real good. Maybe that's what helped me more than anything. You know, when you're struggling, you kind of press a little more, and it gets harder. Talking to a Dave Hodge, he was the number three bowler of the year. You were number two in the WCBC. Yep. You are the second winningest male bowler now with 11 titles behind Tommy Olsta. You know, how much longer can you stay competitive? Because this is a, a game where if you keep yourself in good condition, you can go on well into your 50s. I think so, yeah. I probably have a good eight or nine, ten years left. I mean, every year I think about quitting, but then I have a pretty good season, so... I don't know. I mean, I enjoy time with my kids and everything, too, so I don't know. It's still a lot of fun for me, so I'm, I'm glad to be out here. Time management. It's always a problem. That's what it is. Up there. That sure is. <laughs> Next week, it's Jeff Surrett, and we'll look forward to seeing you, Craig Holbrook. Thanks, thanks very much. See you, Craig. Thank Craig you. had $150 in bonus money, $100 in bonus money, and $50 for having the high string in the match. In addition, he climbs the ladder to face Jeff Surrett. You Next mentioned week. Jeff Surrett, who had a 400 triple to win his ladder series, so it doesn't get any easier for Mr. Holbrook. Tournament of Champions week number three next week. For Mike Morin and our entire crew, I'm Dick Lutz. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. So long, everybody.